Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. We've got insider tips to help you build wealth through property investing in the real deal in real estate. I'm here with Chong Yi of the Yi team at Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, Josh Green of Eastern Title and Settlement, along with Sharif Ibrahim of Old City Properties. Welcome to Great Day, guys. Good morning. Thank you. Hey, Marquette. Well, with the new year, people are always thinking of ways that they can build wealth. and. I want to start with you, Sharif. A lot of people think, well, real estate may be difficult because I need 20% down payment, but you say that's not true. No, uh, most people do think you need 20% and it's just a myth. There's a great program here in the district today that allows you to be able to purchase something for no money down. And uh, that's just one of the great programs that are here available for district residents today. No money down in D.C. That sounds like a win for someone who is looking to move, but also use their property as a way of building wealth. Can you guys elaborate on that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, for, first of all, the, the D.C. Open Doors is the program, right? D.C. Open Doors. Awesome. Uh, but there's a lot of down payment assistance programs throughout the district, uh, district uh, DMV, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just one of them, and it's great. It's, it's a great opportunity for people without the ability to purchase down payment or closing costs to be able to get in with some type of assistance. There's um, 100, other 100% 100 programs, but you know, I'm all about building wealth, right? Because we want to all be wealthy, right? <laughs> but the, the, the best way for everyone and anyone would be to, to buy real estate. And I would certainly be calling Sharif to do so because he's awesome. I just met him, but he's great. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yeah. Really. But like at the end of the day, you know, you have to pay somebody somewhere to live, so you might as well pay yourself. Right. And as time goes on, you can reduce your equity, uh, re increase your equity position by paying down your loan. And then you can, over time, your house appreciates so you grow and become wealthy over time. Hopefully oh. as wealthy as that guy right there. Absolutely, right? Uh, it's yeah. good to be a business owner, but you can you can be an owner by having tenants and have yes. them pay you. And you know, one of the things with Open Doors is the longer you live in the house, the less you have to pay back. So if they gave you like $50,000 each year, it's 20% less. So if you're in there for five years, you don't have to pay any of the money back. Wow. So I'm yep. thinking it right. might be a good strategy if, if people are looking to move, maybe you move into a duplex or a triplex or, or a, a live in one unit and rent out the other or, so, so that you are getting that money without having to trade time for money. Or do what you did, get right. a townhouse and rent the basement out and live in the top two floors. We absolutely you know? did that. Yeah. I was sharing with uh, the realtors here that we downsized a couple of years ago. We had three level of, of a townhome and I moved everything out of my basement. We made that into a legal apartment and that became an income generator, which makes me feel more comfortable in an economy that has been going like this. Actually, my they took, take some notes. How did you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> my, yeah, well, my husband, he's also a smart guy, but it's, it's strategy. Let's talk about tax savings. They're better here than other parts of the country. Yeah, we have a, another great local program that essentially allows you to be able to get 20% credit uh, on the mortgage interest that you pay. So effectively, it feels like you're doubling your tax savings. So we have a lot of great programs here, and, and, uh, and the good word is, is that there's just a lot of great incentives for people to buy now. So There's uh, no reason to rent, because you don't get to r write off your rent. You know, if you go and you can get a house and keep your, your house payment around your rent payment, then you get the tax break, you end up making money buying a property instead of just paying somebody else who owns the property who's getting the tax break anyways. There's, and there's something that uh, in D.C. as well, and I, I guess I want to move to D.C., this is fantastic. <laughs> if you're a first-time home buyer in D.C., a lot of people don't notice, and Shreve reminded me of this, um, you can actually have 50% of your transfer costs reduced. Some paper you have to send to the city, but you can certainly have 50% of that. So that, that can become a big portion of, a, a, a big credit in terms of right. like buying You don't home. need as much uh, just for the cost to be yeah. able to buy a property. So such great programs here in the district today and, and in the surrounding areas and we're really happy to be able to talk about them and let other people know because the uh, the, the American dream of home ownership is, is very much alive and well here and with our great great appreciation rates here in the local area too it just makes it that much hey, more of a slam dunk. Marquette do you need a tenant actually? Uh, uh, we're I would we're love good to you know DC's you. got it going on <laughs> so many people are, are moving in but let's talk after the show yeah. I love everything that you're sharing I'm gonna get some more ideas thank you please contact all of these guys for more information. Sharif, Josh, and Chong are here to help navigate the current real estate market for you call them at 240-422 
888-8871 or visit them online at therealdealdmv.com.